guys! Today's video is how your guinea pig tries to communicate with you. These little fluff balls might not be the most fluent in human language, but they for sure can be very creative in trying to tell you things. It's very common for guinea pigs to make a low rumble sound, which sounds like a cat purring when they don't like something. It can be a sound that they don't like that you're making, or the fact that you approach the cage when they're relaxing, but often your guinea pig will tell you exactly whether they like something or not. I would advise you to pay attention to this communicative cue, and that is a guinea pig that's been sitting on your lap getting super nervous all of a sudden and start licking your hands. You now have about 20 seconds to put your guinea pig in their cage before you will be peed on. Something that you will often see is a guinea pig burrowing in a lot of hay without eating anything. They can look quite aggressive pushing hay around. In this case, your guinea pig is telling you that while there might be tons of hay on the floor, obviously it isn't edible and it's time to refill it. Some guinea pigs will also use their paws to touch you, either to push your hand away or to tell you to do something for them give them a special snack or remind you to pay attention to them. In about 99% of the time, it is to remind you to give them a treat though. Some guinea pigs also use their head to push you away or to nudge you, while others prefer to touch you with their paw. By the way, a huge sign of trust is when they put their paws on your hand. It makes it harder for them to run away in case they get spooked. Or rather, it would take them longer to flee, so a guinea pig that willingly puts their paws on your hand trusts you to keep them safe in this moment. If your guinea pig's water bottle needs refilling, you will often see them go to the bottle and then walk to you when they hear your footsteps. Same goes when their water bowl might be dirty, because they manage to drag some hay into it. As soon as they hear you approach them, they go to the ball, look into it, and then come up to you. Or in Lumi's case, if you refill the bottle, she'll just stand below the place where the bottle is supposed to go and walks in circles until you put it back where it belongs. In any case, this is an extremely obvious way of communicating. The most obvious one is of course the loud food week when you go into the kitchen, open the fridge or the guinea pigs hear your footsteps. The longer your piggies feel like you're ignoring them, the louder their weaking is going to be. But this is the easiest to identify and everyone owning guinea pigs is probably already quite accustomed to this. These were a couple of ways guinea pigs communicate with their humans. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time. Bye!